All right, guys, we're going to do a spiral staircase. Um, go ahead and start my video. All right, so we're going to uh, start a new sketch, uh, Part Studio, and uh, Center Point Circle. Bring it out to maybe six inches, dimension six inches. All right. Uh, we're going to extrude, let's see, I think we're going to end up with 10, yeah, extrude 10 inches, um, then we're going to go to uh, Helix, somewhere in my menu up there, not sure where it's at, there it is. So helix, and we're going to do one revolution. Start at zero degrees, and click OK. And hide the um, cylinder. All right, so we're going to go to the top, and we're going to sketch another circle. So we're going to sketch onto the top plane. Center point circle again. Bring it out just a little bit beyond that and dimension it just to make sure we're at six inches. All right, so now we're going to uh, draw a line. This is going to be our, our uh, steps. Okay, so we're going to draw a line, and then we're going to uh, draw another circle in the middle, and this is going to be, uh, let's see, two inches on the diameter and we're going to take our scissors and we're going to clip that off all right so we're just left with our stair and we're going to extrude that sketch we just did and we're going to uh, also we have to make it horizontal all right, so we're going to make that horizontal, and we're going to uh, look at the angle. So horizontal, and then we're going to look at the uh, angle, and I believe we're going to uh, make that 20 degrees, I believe. So click both those lines, actually 12 degrees, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so 12 degrees, and then we're going to extrude it. Let's do a quarter inch on the uh, extrusion. All right, so we got the helix, and we got our first part. Now we're going to do a um, curve pattern. So we haven't done this yet. I know it may have been a while. We did this like many months ago. So we're going to do, um, I think we're going to end up with 30, 35 steps. So you want to fill in those gaps. 25 is not enough. 30, 35 should do it. Uh, just maybe a little bit, maybe 34, possibly. 35, let's stick with 35. All right, so now we have to build a, a central beam that goes up the center of this thing. 
Uh, so these stairs are actually wrapped around something. And I think I, I put the diameter at uh, one on my first effort. And it should be, I was trying to, So that's the radius, and I was I was thinking diameter, and I, I was totally messed up on this. So the, the diameter is supposed to be two, and I thought it was one. But I'm, it's easy fix. So you're gonna sketch onto that that top plane, and we're going to put in a circle. We're gonna hide a part there. Shut that down, and then we're going to do a center point circle, and then we're going to do uh, <clears throat> dimension. It's supposed to be uh, two inches, but I, I make a mistake on this one. All right, and what's going to it's supposed to be two anyway? So extrude, I believe it was, it's supposed to be ten inches uh, tall. And all right, so let's put that in there. So I don't want the original cylinder to show up, and so um, you can kind of hover over, and you can see. Okay, I don't want part one is the is that big cylinder. So if you want, you can go back and select the very bottom. Then go up and select, push your shift key, and then select the very top one that you want. So we're going to go through that, hover through that. But we, we know it's part one that it's the only one we don't want. So we could just turn them all on and then just uh, deselect part one. Then right click. Show parts, and I think part two is uh, turned off. Part two is my bottom step. Forgot to put that. That's why I have a missing bottom step. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, that's supposed to be two. That'll bring it to the edge of the staircase. There you go. All right. So we're almost there. Um, okay, so the fun part here is I'm going to select every other stair, and you'll see um, this is the fun part. This is the creativity part. So you're going to go in there and select every other stair. <clears throat> uh, then you can right click, or there's another way to, to bring out the tab on the right hand side. Uh, to <clears throat> change up the colors and, and you know, kind of personalize it and make it yours. And, um, it's kind of neat. And I sh that part two is my bottom stair. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, and then I said I did the wrong thing. I, I clicked and I undid all my work. Um, so I was like, okay. So go back and select it again. And then right click on the left menu or uh, inventory over here instead of going out into the, uh, the rendering space out there. Just right click where you're selecting these and uh, then it won't deselect everything. So I'll get everything picked and then uh, you can come over here to this tab and if you want to. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way is just to go over there and uh, right click uh, edit appearance of 17 parts and then I'm going to go blue uh, there you go. and then if you want to go the other stairs that you didn't select and, and turn them a different color um, go to the bottom and figure out your starting place there it is. Uh, okay. And then you just select every other one. 
and there we go. All right. Almost done. So we're going to do some interesting stuff with the, uh, the cylinder. And uh, we're going to shell it out and then cut some windows into it. Maybe make it into like a storage space or something like that. I don't know. All right, so we're going to shell it out. And um, not sure if I'm going to stick with green. Uh, all right um, yeah I mean if you look over to the parts on the uh, part list I did leave off my first step I'm not sure why I left that off all right so we got that shelled out and um, yeah the hollow thing didn't work too good. Okay, so the last step, what I'm going to do is I want to cut some, basically some windows into it, and um, just give it kind of a different look. So I'm going to create a plane and I'm going to uh, sketch over the, the uh, outline of the center cylinder and cut some windows into it. And, uh, so I'm going to make a plane based off the right, pull the uh, arrow out and uh, sketch onto that plane. So I'm going to sketch onto that plane, and then I'm going to go right, and then I'm just going to basically uh, sketch into the, the outline of that cylinder. I'm just going to do some squares, rectangles, and then I'm going to extrude remove. Okay. So I was doing some research, and they they um, they finally posted the certification test that you can take. There's two levels. There's pro level and associate level. Uh, the associate level, on shape associate, is uh, fifty dollars for the, uh, the the exam, and then the pro level is a hundred dollars. Uh, so you could actually get certified non shape. And uh, this week I'll give you guys uh, information on. Uh, where to go and how to um, download the study guide materials for that if you want to get certified in this. Um, there's a few uh, extra steps we'd have to do in order to get you ready to get certified. And so um, looking over the study guide and materials they, they offer will help you. There's a few things we didn't go over this year that will get you ready. All right, so there it is. There's the spiral staircase with um, hauled out center, put a few little windows in there, and um, there's all kinds of things you can do to that project. All right, have fun with it, guys.